What's up? I told you I'd be making more videos. Hey, I still got my Sharpie. This video goes out to see and save, okay? I'm, I'm dedicating this video to her, and this is why. I watched her video yesterday, or was it last night? Her eBay rant. You can obviously tell she's beat down. I left her a comment. I feel her pain, okay? I feel her pain. I'm telling you, I need a break after Christmas, guys. Oh, man, I need a break. Some of the people I had to deal with on eBay, that shit will break you, okay? I feel her pain. Now, I'm not about giving up reselling right now. Especially when I go back in here after lunch and work this job I'm going to have to do. Oh, man. <coughs> I'd much rather be reselling my ass off every day than being here. This shit's coming to an end soon. I tried to actually give us a late day, but I couldn't find out it working for me. Anyway, see and save. I feel your pain. I do, okay? And the title of this video is Bitch Ass eBay Buyers, okay? I'm going to say it one more time. Bitch Ass eBay Buyers, alright? I don't know about you all, but during Christmas, whoa, I had some good ones, okay? I had some good ones. And I'm going to have another video coming about partial refunds I got to do. But we're going to separate the two. We're going to separate the two. Excuse me. I'm, it's my papa is working on me. Ugh. Anyway. I'm going to separate the two. This video is called Bitch Ass eBay Buyers. And for all you good eBay buyers out there, seriously. Y'all have the power to fix some of this shit on eBay. And you really need to take control. And I don't know what you got to do to kind of change things around. But you need to take control of eBay and start fixing some of this shit. Because... When the bitch ass eBay buyers start jacking with sellers and eBay cuts sellers and cuts good sellers, I'm going to tell you how this works. Against you, okay? And then we're getting to my bitch ass eBay buyer video. That's how this works against you. If I was selling a book called bitch ass eBay buyer book and there was 10 of those books listed, okay? And those prices range from $3.99 to $12.99. You could get on eBay and have a decision made. I can buy this one, that one. Okay, and look at condition, shipping, all that for you. No, whatever. You have, you have a range there. You have a selection. But when eBay starts chopping sellers, whack, 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 and say you get down to only two sellers left that are selling that fucking book, I'm no idiot. If I'm, if I'm one of two sellers and I'm selling my bitch ass eBay buyer book and I see people are buying this shit, and he's got his list for $9.99, well, shit, I might list mine for 25 bucks. Why? As soon as his shit sells, I've got the only one left. If you want my book, you're going to pay for it. Okay? So it hurts you. It hurts you to buy it in the long run. Alright? It, it does. It hurts you to buy it in the long run. I, I don't know if y'all figured this out. Okay? But we're getting some bitch ass eBay buyers. Here we go. I had one. During Christmas. I sold this guy some vintage electronics. Okay? And guys, we don't know if you sell on eBay long enough. Electronics is a risky business on eBay. I mean, whoa, there's so many scammers. And I got lucky. I got lucky during Christmas. I only saw one thing I know the guy fucked me on. But luckily, I had already made my money back on all this stuff. So it would have been an extra 70 bucks. But I ended up refunding the guys my own and deal with it. So, I only got screwed once selling electronics during Christmas time. But this one guy, bitch ass eBay buyer. And I should have known better because when I sold him the item, he sent me this long ass email about how to pack the shit. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I mean, I'm talking long ass item. Basically, I saw it right on the wall. He was already setting this up for it. It was damaged. Okay? I, I knew it. I should not sold this shit to this guy. I should have fucking canceled that shit, refunded his money, and blocked his ass. Because I have done that. We'll get in that later. I have actually refunded some of this shit before I ever sent him the item, blocked him, told him to fuck off. And I never heard back from him, never got a negative, okay? I did some lady in Hawaii. I think she was a lady, I don't know. But anyway, I sent him the shit, very well packed. Guys, I have only ever had one thing ever damaged in shipping, ever. And I didn't pack it, my wife packed it. It was this little glass bird thing, and the wind got shipped off, but my wife packed that. I have never had anything damaged in shipping. I packed my shit very well. Guy gets it, so I send me pictures, so I send me an email. Oh, before, before he even does that, first thing he does after he gets to send me, he sends me a message. Hey, can I get a partial refund? This was damaged. Okay, and he, the way he describes the damage, you would have thought this shit fell off the truck and got hit by another truck on the freeway. That's how bad this shit he was describing as. And he sent some pictures. And I, but the thing about this guy, because we had conversated, he works on Vintage Electronics and resells the shit. Okay? 
Okay, remember that. Okay, he already set this up in the beginning. I could tell it was gonna be damaged. Now he's asking for a partial refund. Plus, I know he works on vintage electronic shit. I told the guy, no, I'm not giving you a partial refund. If my shit was damaged, I insert it, send the shit back. I'll file my insurance claim. I'll refund the money when he gets here. Well, then he gets his pants on the wall. I start sending me an Instagram hate mail. And he's gonna file his case. He's gonna give me negative feedback. I'm like, file the case, dog. Go ahead and give me a negative. You want negative? It's gonna hurt me in the overall scheme of things. Woo, the negative. And this goes back and forth. He opens his case. And let's just say that the very last day when that he had time to finish his shit, his case, to do something about it, he closed his case. He kept my shit. He kept my shit. I never heard nothing back from him. Never got any feedback. Okay? Bitch ass eBay buyer! Okay? I should've known better. And it's, it's, it's buyers with good feedback too. Good feedback. I had a lady. This lady had thousands of feedback. She was a buyer and a seller. All positive shit. She bought a Disney mug for me. Shit arrives. First thing I get from her is, hey, I want a refund. The handle was broken off during shipping. Once again, my response, okay, send my broke shit back, and I will refund your money. Remember, this lady had all positive feedback. I never heard a thing from her again. Never. Bitch ass eBay buyer, okay? This is the kind of shit that will make you rack your head. The guy that scammed me out of 70 bucks. I sent him a, it was a DVD uh, recorder thing, no, we can actually record on DVDs. On the shit, I, f I forgot the exact time for it. Sent the shit off in great condition, working. He gets it, claims it doesn't work. I says, fine, and this guy had all positive feedback. Send my shit back, I'll refund your money. I get it back. I can obviously tell that he had taken the front face play off. He had broken the fucking where he put the CD in, it comes in and out. I forgot what you know what I'm talking about, where it opens. Shit was broke open, it wouldn't, I had to force it open. A part fell out. It was cracked on two sides. You could tell that he had taken the face play off. He took whatever part he needed and sent me my busted shit back. Okay? Like I said, that one wasn't worth my time. I had already made my money back on all that shit. That, that thing was would have been a bonus. And I was like, you know what? I sent him back a message through PayPal. I was like, hey man, um, this is not the condition. I sent this shit to you in. It's all busted. You can tell you took the face play off. I never got a response. Nothing. Bitch ass eBay buyer. I have. And sometimes the sellers that are also buyers, the buyers that are sellers, they're some of the worst. And I'm telling you, I got another video about this, okay? There's no reason to be rude about shit. There isn't. I had a guy that got a CD two days ago. And this fool sends me a nasty gram as soon as he gets it. I want a refund. This listing isn't correct. This should have said this and this and this and this. And I said, oh, really? I said, well, huh. I went back to the listing. Oh, there it is right there in the title. There it is in the item. I know the item details. It's right there. This guy was another seller, okay? This dumbass didn't read the listing. He bought the wrong thing. Which is no big deal. I got no problem with that. You can send my $16, $15 CD back. I'll refund your money. I, but don't send me a fucking nasty gram because you fucked up and didn't read the listing. Bitch ass eBay buyer. Okay? And I pointed the shit out. He didn't respond in the first message. So then I sent back and I said, hey, you gonna return this? All the info was to here, 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 here. I get back then after that was, well, it's a moot point. I already sent it back. No, it's not a moot point. How about you just simply say, Hey, you know what? I was wrong. The shit's in the listing. I misread it. I bought the wrong fucking thing. Can I get a refund? Yeah, no problem, man. Send the shit back. See, I'm cool. If you're a seller, I'm a seller. I understand. You gotta wreck your head. I mean, it's enough to have to deal with the bitch ass eBay buyers to have to have other sellers act like that. And don't get it twisted because if you've been selling eBay for a while, okay? Okay? Listen to me. If you've been selling eBay for a while, you know as well as I do that if I want to take the time out of my day, to fuck your account up, I can do it. I can do it. It can be done. Don't think it can't be done. So don't act like an ass to other sellers. It can be done. If I want to get you three or four five negative feedbacks in a week, well, you know, it takes the time to order shit and have it sent somewhere, but it could be done. Okay, I've never done it yet. Can I do it? Yes, I can. I have the ability, all right? I'm just saying. I don't act like that. I don't treat people like that. Okay? Bitch ass eBay buyers. I had another guy. He bought a jersey. This guy's jersey. And I don't, hey, forewarning. This is another thing about buyers. Hey, buyers. Hey, buyers. I don't fucking control FedEx. They had a big fucking message on their website for about a fucking month. 
a month about how they had the laser shit. I don't control FedEx. This motherfucker starts sending me nasty grams. And if you send me a nasty gram right up front, your first email, you gonna get a nasty gram back. I don't care. You gonna be rude to me? I'll be rude back. This guy's calling me a liar and a scammer over twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. I'm like, dude. I don't, I got better things to do than screw you out of 12 bucks. The tracking number's there. I'm sorry FedEx hasn't uploaded the shit. I don't know where it is. The shit was dropped off, okay? FedEx fucked up. This guy sent me nasty grams, and by the time the shit uploaded finally, the shit had been in transit for two days before he started sending me fucking nasty grams telling me I was trying to scam out 12 bucks, okay? Now this guy ended up apologizing, but you no, know, I shouldn't have had this email battle with this dumbass, alright? Over FedEx. That ain't my problem. So, I'm just saying. CSA, I feel the pain. I feel the pain. Okay? Bitch ass eBay buyers. And they make the other buyers look bad. Okay? And, and the good buyers, I could really take control of some of this shit. Really. You really could. You could fix some of this shit. You have the power to do it. But if you don't want to, that's fine. More and more sellers are leaving eBay. More and more sellers are getting axed. Which ultimately cuts down what you can get and buy. So anyway, that's all I have left to say for my second video. So I just want to give a shout out to CSA because I feel your pain. Have a good one. I'll catch y'all later.